All right, so we are going to see a chic ditto. Yep. First of many, I assume. Yeah. The top eight. <laughs> for, if, if, if loser's quarters is a chic ditto and the other's loser's quarters is a chic ditto, that means loser semis is going to be a chic ditto. So and you and I are going to get really good at We're going to be really acquainted with the matchup. Yeah, we're sure. going to know everything that is needed to be known. And you, we have, like, the different play styles of Sheiks all still in the tournament. Absolutely. Like, they're, they're all totally different. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see which Sheik Ditto style comes out on top. Hmm. So is it color coordinated by port? Or color coordinated by color. It must be by port. So free Palestine. No, because the green chic is. Uh, oh, you're saying for this? Yeah, yeah, for the for the score on the side. I guess it doesn't really matter. But oh yeah, Dreffen, Dreffen, It appears is player four. I think so. Yeah, nice. yeah. We got confirmation. Uh, free Palestine's color is wrong for the streamer. All right. They're on. I really like the green chic. I think it's my favorite one. Yo, black chic though. Black chic definitely pretty good. Yeah, but Mewtwo King has dibs. Yeah, exactly. He used to play the red one, and then he said, well, everyone else plays the red one, so I'm going to play a different one. <laughs> <laughs> Such a Mewtwo King thing to say. <laughs> yep. Chain grabs, on or off? <laughs> That's the question. What, on if you, what if you could mind. do that? What if there was a 20XX setup where you could just turn off <laughs> chain grabs? But we're getting on into it. This is going to be a top eight Sheik Ditto featuring Dreffin rocking the blue Sheik versus Free Palestine, a.k.a. Millhouse, with the green cheek. We get our answer right away. Chain grabs on. Yes. And he's already going for him. Are we going to see the drop zone fair? We are. Yeah, definitely the best option there. Sends him way to the side. Big fan of down air fair. Yeah, it's probably, so strong. Yeah, probably trying to do a reverse hitbox on the fair to send him back off the stage. And that was a great empty land F tilt. Catches Millhouse jumping out of that shield. Yeah, Dreffen uh, immediately going for the spot dodge shenanigans. He's known, you know, to spot dodge like three, four, five, twenty, eighty times in a row. You think it's hyperbole, but no, no, I, <laughs> I agree with you. You're, you're just letting the folks at home know what's up. Okay, I really like the dash back, and he comes back in with um, kind of what Dreffen was doing to Wizzy. Honestly, he uh, contests the airspace with that nair early. Yeah, he's actually very good at calling out the jumps from Dreffen. It's been working wonders for him so far. How did he sweet spot from below? That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I guess um, so. The ledge is so thin that if your ledge grab box goes like sort of above you, you can kind of grab it even if your back's like where the ledge is. Yeah, because he, he poofed. Yeah, like, yeah, he yeah. poofed and then sweet spot the ledge from below. That was phenomenal. I hope he did that intentionally. Yeah, I've seen Fox do it. I assume she can do it too. Yeah, absolutely. Nice little dash dance there from Millhouse. He's going to get a chain grab to a lot of percent. Dreffin well, looking for that platform, but he does get out because uh, Millhouse gra jabs instead of grabs. I think the grab, the chain grab does end somewhere around that percent. Yeah, somewhere around here. So maybe he was trying, that was probably all part of the big chic mix up. Okay, goes for a runoff fair, uh, excuse me, runoff nair. Probably trying to catch Dreffin doing something uh, funny, maybe an air dodge up. Instead, he just gets the ledge. I love the platform movement when he comes down from the platform. How many from times? The death platform. Yeah, how many times is Dreffin going to get two iterations of the chain grab on the right platform in that same exact way? Yeah. This is the <laughs> third time over. Already. Nice DI here from Millhouse who goes off stage and he's able to poof back and he gets a grab for it. So this is going to be his turn to make that damage back to even. No, he drops it, drops the turnaround. What a shame. It's such a strong defensive sequence from Millhouse. I mean, free Palestine. I'm going to keep calling him Millhouse. Yeah, it's, we're not going to be able to stop. But, you know. it's, too, it's, too, it's too many syllables, man. Let's call him Free. Free? I, that's not very nice. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> if you're listening, uh, Palestine, I'm sorry. Nice. Yeah, down there, so much hitstone, able to get the ferret and the stock. Even game. Yeah, I love this movement from, from Millhouse. Every time Dreffen comes down from the death platform, he's like, I'm just going to go on every platform real quick. Try and stop me. Yeah, you know what? Dreffen's playing like really direct. In a Sheik Ditto, I kind of expect um, when one Sheik runs at the platform, so the other one to kind of wait in the favorable position. Dreffen kind of just going to hit him. And Dreffen getting the grab again on that right side platform. So, right there, it's really tricky to do the. Um, wow, up air gonna And that's going to be yeah. death, yeah. So it's really tricky there to do the crouch on the platform because if you do it too fast, you actually drop through the platform. Right. So instead, Dreffen has this trick where he'll, he'll shield 
And if you shield, you can't dash back, and wave dash back isn't necessarily fast enough. So instead, he puts up shield, quickly drops it, and then dashes to get the uh, roll behind. Even though shield takes like 15 frames to drop. Yeah, it takes forever. Yeah. I'm surprised it worked, but he was able to keep that grab going, and it led into that final kill. And now he gets another grab on the platform. I think Millhouse is never ready for Dreffin to just wave land up there. But now it's Millhouse's turn. Yep, the DI behind uh, gets you out a little bit earlier. He was soaring with the Lazy Boy. What a wave dash back. Um, doesn't punish exactly, though. Maybe he was expecting Dreffin to rise with either an air or a fair, and he was going to counter that instead. Okay, Dreffin playing a very tight game in the corner. Ends up exploding out of it, getting a big combo. That was nuts. Triple dash attack to double down air. All right, yep, ready for the spot dodge. And he's what, trying to get him high enough so he can fair him, but the platform is the perfect height. And a shield drop fair from Free Palestine. And he might be able to close out this stock first. Yeah, nice edge guarding sequence from Free Palestine, able to get him the lead. Gets him with the knee. The strongest part of Nair <laughs> is that knee behind her head. Mm -hmm. Now Dreffin desperately looking to close out the stock. He could get grabbed, and then he'll take a ton of damage. But instead, we have an even game. Yeah, good stuff. And as usual, it's going to come down to who gets that first grab. Yeah, it really does tell the story, doesn't it? Both of these guys playing so <laughs> safe, but the roll behind. And you see Free Palestine shaking his head. He was like, oh, I did not mean to do that. Not in a million years that I mean to roll behind Dreffin. It's probably, probably a wave dash, right? You think? Yeah, I think it was a wave dash forward. Nice. Yeah, so this is the punish that just doesn't end. Until yeah. now. Until you get the stock, until you die. Dreffin's ability to punish uh, options on wake up has been phenomenal. He's That's gotten true. a grab, I think, every time. Uh, Free Palestine has not really been getting the conversions in those advantageous situations that Dreffin has been getting. As you see right there, right? You know, that was a situation where he could have baited out that roll. Goes for Dynasty. It's not enough to kill quite yet. Up air will trade. Still not enough. Tried to go for another Dynasty. It's not enough. Oh, and this is so big for Dreffin now. And no jump for Free Palestine. That's the advantage to being under Sheik. Her mobility is so bad. And this time the roll behind pays off as he's able to get it down tilt. Sheik has no jump right now. And the knee to finish off the stock. Edge guard for good measure. But not before 100 damage tacked on from Dreffin. We're going to need this. I was going to say we're going to need a grab from Free Palestine to close it out, but. And that's Dreffin catching onto that movement I was talking about earlier off of the, the death platform. Mm -hmm. You know, what Free Palestine does every time is he tries to get above and stall out that invincibility. So Dreffin just called him out this time. Dreffin now with a grab under the platform. Sends him upward at the end of the punish. I really like that. Such a weak position for Sheep. Oh, nice use of the needles, and that'll do it. Dreffin looking really solid in this matchup. You kind of have to if you've been playing this matchup for 14 years. Yes, yes. And it is one where, uh, especially with chain grabs on, certain tactics are so strong that you can really just work to perfect them, and you get a lot of, you make up a lot of ground for just knowing those. So now we have the counter pick. It's going to be Yoshi's story for Free Palestine, and he immediately gets grabbed. Hate to see that. Oh my what goodness, the DI on the F tilt. Got a DI behind. Yep, does get to the platform. So he's okay for now. And now Free Palestine has a grab. I'm surprised we didn't see uh, Dreffin DI up. He was on the higher part of Yoshi's, but I guess he would not have made it to that platform. Nice down air to cover everything, and he can finish the stock. He does. Yeah, I thought it was like a meaty downer. I think it covered like any option on the stage there. Yeah, very nicely done. Dreffin's turn, turning it around with that grab. Could very well be the stock. He's gonna probably tech on the platform. Not able to get the fair from it. Does nair him on the uh, wake up option. That was a sick mix up, but the fall through baits out the shield grab. It was like- kills him for it. It resembled a tomahawk. Exactly, that was such a sick bait. The double spot dodge, we finally see it from Dreffin. Nice, wow. and he waits twice for uh, for spot dodges. 
Center Free Palestine way off the stage. This is an all drafting game, it looks like. Yeah, he's looking great. And that's, it's after that first stock with that great punish from Free Step Palestine, it's just been all drafting all the time. There we go. Free Palestine now going to get that grab. Another one off the wake up option. There it is, the DI to the platform. Those really low platforms on Yoshi's story. And we got Needle Wars. I think if you're ahead, the Needle War very much benefits you. Don't want to trade for Santa for Free Palestine. What a runoff fair. Yeah, that was awesome by Free Palestine. Yeah, no fear. Even with such a high floor on Yoshi's where you can die a lot of the times, even when you would be able to make it back, he just goes right down there. Uh, weak up air. Baits the down air, and he's gonna got no jump off stage. Randall not here, but he thought he was not gonna make it back, so he rolled on. Free Palestine, second lease on life, but he gets spot dodge grabbed. That lease is foreclosed. It's over. One stock remaining for Free Palestine in this set. Unless he can make something big happen. Uh, he just needs the one grab. Here's the thing is he's had Dreffin up in the air a couple times this stock already, and he hasn't really taken advantage. Yeah, he hasn't really been punishing those landings yeah. that Sheik is pretty bad at. Yeah, meanwhile, Dreffin's been doing exactly that the entire time. And another Waveland grab. Dynasty is going to do it. 3-0 for Dreffin. Yeah, so Dreffin in this Sheik heavy bracket looking like um, it's not going to be a problem for him. He's looking scary, man. Yeah. I, I believe.